Oh yeah, this handle feels good. few days as an amateur. Hmm. Such confidence. I will tell you, like, I, I like my glutes are so, like, every day is just a little tighter. It's like, I'm just looking at myself in the mirror and I'm flexing hard trying to, like, get the skin fold to show and it's, like, harder to get it to show. And I just it's water because I'm just kind of watering, but it's going to be even tighter. We have two back days because it's just a push-pull leg split, so we hit everything twice over the course of, like, an eight-day period. So we have one back day where it's like a lot of spine supported movements where we do like T-bar rows, we do a heavy upper back row. Like that's where we're just like annihilating. Like that, that's our mass building day. We have another back day and it's not a deload, but it's definitely, it's definitely lower fatigue. We've been calling it our detail day. It's more vertical pulling. Uh, a lot more machine work. We're actually, we don't do like really any spine supported loading other than today where we will actually rack pull. So we decided not to rack pull on our other day as we were both pretty fatigued and lower back was kind of fried. So we moved it and we'll do it today. So, cause my lower back feels good. Yours probably should be feeling good. So we'll do it today and that'll be like the last like back movement we do and then we'll switch to like low back hyper extensions with some glute work, some detail shit, and then then on and end up. Okay. 
Yes! 
Dig him out. Dig out two. Dig out two. Get to ten. Come on. Come on. Pull. Yes. <laughs> Big breath. Big breath. Big breath. Good. Finish. That's how we do it. When you're in prep, you gotta keep intensity just like that. Maybe not as much volume, but your set's gotta stay hard just like that. There's nothing worse than using prep as an excuse to not re-rack your weights. Extra calories burned. <laughs> Walk around carrying weights. You get ripped that way. That's an intense fire you guys can try, especially in prep when you don't have a lot of energy and it's kind of time to wrap up the workout. Instead of sitting here and doing three sets of 15 or 20, kind of drains you. You could do like a five by five cluster set or a six by four is another way to do it. Basically what you do is you do five reps and then you rest in the extended position for five to 10 seconds, five reps. You pick a weight where you don't, you don't really gonna fail at the beginning of the first three sets. By the time you get to the fifth or sixth set, it gets really hard and you just need a partner to help you, but it intensifies it a lot and it cuts up the reps into a manageable bite-sized portion. Drops your overall volume as well. When in prep, we don't, not necessarily trying to go for higher volume stuff. So it sounds like a lot because it's five sets, but it's really micros because it's all the same real, there's really like one round. So this is like one, one hard set to failure, and then we're done. One, two, three, four, five.
to make those harder or a little more strict is when you come up think about extending your triceps down like controlling down and it like stretches your bicep because yep. a lot of people do the hammer curls and they start swinging around you do it like this and then kind of flex the triceps down it just keeps it a lot more tight and you can use a lighter weight and not like get tendonized and stuff say we're just doing it every day 11 days 11 days till Justin's back on stage um, today's Monday so we've got nine days or so until we fly out fly out Wednesday morning we'll get to Vegas Wednesday and do his last workout um, do a posing session with Joey Bell and then weigh-ins our Thursday morning the rest is history. He'll be on stage early Friday morning, and then there's a long layover, unfortunately, until Saturday night finals, which I hate that they do it like that. But it is what it is. That's how they do it. So, but we're just continuing to do all the things that have worked so far that have gotten us this far. Not tailoring the training, as you can see, 11 days out, Justin to hit a rep PR on the rack pulls with five plates. So, it's if something's going right. Be perfectly honest. Uh, it's been a relatively smooth four weeks since the Orlando Pro. Uh, yeah, we've dug and it's been challenging, but there haven't been any roadblocks. We've just continued to see like pretty linear progress, pretty much like we did most of this prep for Justin. So I don't really have a whole lot to say. We're just going to let the hard work do the talking for us on next Friday and let all the chips fall where they may. The, the main thing that we can know for with a verifiable fact is that we did everything that we could to be the best that we could and Justin is bringing his absolute best to USA's that he's ever brought to a stage and that, that I can guarantee so things are going to be simple we don't overcomplicate things with the prep keep it simple stupid that's how we ensure that stuff is going to work so that's all we got so if you guys have watched this far thank you as always please like subscribe and share and we'll catch you next time let's finish this thing Peace out. Bye.